Hi guys, welcome back to MK Sports Cars. Well, today I'm going to introduce you to the MK Indy RX5 K20. Now, this particular car was uh, built for customer, uh, factory built, and it's moved on to a couple of different owners. And now it's going out to the new one, but before that, the new owner, let us have a little go, because this has had a little bit of Bourne sprinkle on it from Terry and his team at Bourne HPP have done a little bit of magic on this amazing K20A engine. So two litre, so normally they run out um, around the 230 horsepower with our ECU and etc. Stock in a normal car in a Civic Type R EP3, they come in about 200, I think, factory that they do. We squeeze a little bit more with a bit of tuning, and then Terry's really sprinkled. It. But before we get into the engine, I'm going to go through the front on this car. So it's had a little few changes and incarnations along the way. Um, it's now got uh, the new, as we call it, cup nose cone, which is a double vented one, which I think really looks strong um, with the carbon stripe that's on here. This is like a satin carbon stripe, really complements the, the sky blue. Golf blue it's called, but sky blue as we call it. You've got the carbon front arches on this. We've got LED headlights with the halos in, which are really smart, actually. They all light up and look really, really smart. We've got the Wilwood four-pot brakes down on here on each corner, so it's got great stopping power with cross-drilled and vented groove discs. And then outside bodywork is all SX, so it's, we call it the SX. It's the newer version with the newer scoop. It's got the newer rear arches on it, which is the blended-in arch on the rear tub. And on the on this side here, you can see the very, very, they're very light and very nice carbon fibre silencer. It's now been converted more to a road car, so we've got the sort of weather pack on it. It's got the screen, it's got the wipers, it's got the wind deflectors on here and the little uh, carbon, they're carbon effect actually, but they're convex glass, really help with the rear visibility. Inside of the vehicle, really smart actually with the MK branded gauge. It's got the five gauge set in here and all the uh, billet aluminium lights, buttons, etc. And on here, we've also got the free wheel, which is really smart, which is the wireless one, which the indicators are on here, horn, etc. All are good to go with the MK branded grid knob. Padded centre tunnel top, our three inch uh, MK harnesses. These are all FIA and IVA approved with our lightweight GRP seats. Cross brace roll bar, which is as standard, our cross brace. We don't do no single hoops, we make sure it's a bit of safety. And a full LED light pack on the back with the uh, four in one LED lights and that. It's really, really little cool, sort of simplifies look at it. And then back here, we've got a little boot box. So yeah, if you're going road car guys, you want a bit of storage, I'll show you under here. There's a couple of things. So storage under here, so if you want to put a small bag, it's a great place to put. Yes, it's even got the bikini hood. So if you get caught out, it's got the weather pack as well. And your little washer bottle tucked away in there as well. Those dirty, caught out days that you get. And we'll talk about what's here. So this is the Honda K20. This is an A2 variant. So as I said, you 200 horsepower out the Civic EP3, but way more uh, when, we, when you dyno them themselves and run the uh, Motorsport Electronics ECU. It's just over 230. But Terry here at Bourne HPP, guys are there, breathe their magic on it. They've changed the ECU management because it's something he's familiar with, so it's got life uh, ECU. It's got a bigger throttle body on here and it's got the RCC um, inlet plenum. Um, we have the standard intake that's on here and filter, and it, but his magic is done in there. It's the set of cams that he's put in this is amazing. Now this breathed on is now 284 point something horsepower. So 285 horsepower, amazing. It's done on uh, Tegra's dyno, so we know it's completely legit because I think it's still, it's a race proven, they use them in the Tegra, I mean, uh, Tegra's Civic Cup Championships, so they're all dyno in there, so we know that that is a real true measurement of 285 horsepower. Um, when a VTEC comes on song on this, it's amazing, the noise and everything else. It's all built into our system. This is not a custom system, it's our stock system. We run ours. It complements this engine really well and it really made the power. Terry was complimentary on how well it actually worked, this four into one system. Um, this runs the electric water pump. We've got down here, we've got a little uh, Davis Craig, um, 150 uh, um, pump on that litre, litre per hour pump on it and a small little uh, 80 amp all an hour, nothing, nothing amazing, you don't need the big one that's on here, we do a little bracketry that puts that on. And then cooling it, we've got a nice big radiator in there, aluminium radiator, lightweight battery on it, etc. All good to go. Set up rated injectors on here to help with the power and the more power and the delivery it's going to be as well. So, but more importantly, 
that's enough of that bespeak. I know it looks great here, static, but you want to know how it goes on the road. So I'm going to hand you over to now our team racing driver, Andy, and he's going to talk you through the process. I don't see what all the fuss is about. It feels the same. Just 
Sturge. Okay, are we ready? We're ready for real V10 power. enjoyed that Andy I said it certainly had more fun than I did talking about it because driving it is and I've driven this car it's an amazing experience the VTEC on song is amazing it is a orchestra on itself so if you want to know more about the range from MK sports cars whether it be a K20 a Mazda engine Duratec or a Hayabusa engine it's those ranges all available you can hook us up phone call email or oh, happy to come and see us down at the factory and we could talk to your range that's it guys like share subscribe we'll catch you on the next time